Okay, the general term of another sequence is given by that formula. Show that you have this. Um, well, I guess I could just sub it in. So that would be n times n minus 2. Well, actually, it's n plus 1, so not n. So I should add 1 to the end. So that would be n plus 1 times n plus 1 minus 2 factorial. I need to show that that's equal to n minus 1 times n times n minus 2 factorial plus n minus 1 factorial. Okay, um, so this would be n plus 1, and this would be n plus 1 minus 2. That's n minus 1 factorial. So that's n plus 1 times n minus 1, and the factorial is just on this bracket, uh, equal to n minus 1 times n times n minus 2, and the factorial just on this bracket, plus n minus 1, and the factorial there. So that's n plus 1. Um, and that's n minus 1, n minus 2, etc. dot, dot, dot. I can change n minus 1 factorial into n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. It's a bit like saying a factorial equals a times a minus 1 factorial. That's the rule I'm using, so to speak. That's n minus 1 times n times n minus 2 factorial. And... Uh, Perhaps I can do something similar here. If I want, if I really want to get n minus two, could say this is n minus two over n minus two factorial over n minus two, because that would be n minus two times n minus one factorial the n minus 2s would cancel. And the reason I might want to do that is I can get rid of now the factorial from everything. So if I'm, um, but I don't quite like that I have the n minus 2 here. It's making me feel like I perhaps made a mistake or maybe not, uh, because that would be n squared minus 1 and that would be n squared minus n. But I think perhaps I've done something wrong. Let me just check my previous line. U n plus 1 is n plus 1 times n plus 1 minus 2 factorial. That's equal to n minus 1 times u n, which is n times n minus 2 factorial plus n minus 1 factorial. That's n plus 1. And then that's n minus 1 factorial, n minus 1 n, and n minus 2 factorial plus n minus 1 factorial. Maybe what I should do, hmm. <laughs> ah, I see. These two I can put together by using this rule because n minus one factorial is n minus one times n minus two factorial. And now the n minus 1 factorial cancels out. So I'm left with n plus 1 equals n plus 1. Yeah, okay. 